Hi, and welcome to our tutorial on creating surfaces from IFC objects. My name is Charles Lawley, and I am with Transit and Level Clinic, the leading Leica building construction dealer in the United States. Today's tutorial is going to be a little more advanced. It is extremely beneficial for those companies currently using IFC files or 3D models that have simple or compound slope, let's say for a parking deck structure that they may want to perform cut and fill on during construction. Keep in mind that a number of different applications within the Icon Build software, including layout objects and Icon Build Plus, which includes the slopes, volumes, and cut and fill applications are required to do this. Today, I will be using Icon version 7.9. Let's start by uploading the model. After opening Icon, we will select the project, and we will start a new project by selecting the green plus at the bottom of the screen. We will name this project Surface123 as an example for this tutorial. We will go ahead and import this project from our USB stick using the default settings. We will select the green check mark at the bottom of the screen and the green check mark at the bottom of this screen to start the process. Click OK and then to view the model we will select layout objects. Now at this point you are seeing a top-down view of the model. If you have used models in Icon before you are aware of this. If this is your first time, you can use your 3D orbit button in the top left to provide you with a 3D view of the entire model. For this particular model, you can see that we have a layer of grid lines making it harder to see the model underneath. Let's go into our layer manager and turn this off. Click on the layer manager in the bottom right hand corner. With only one file, it is relatively easy to spot the IFC file. Choose the down arrow and notice the first layer says grid. <clears throat> Let's turn that off and see if our grid lines disappear in the preview to the right. Perfect. Keep in mind that we haven't deleted the grid lines, we've just turned them off from view. We can always turn them back on. To save, choose the green check mark in the bottom screen. Much better. Now let's zoom in a little closer to find the first foundation that we would like to turn into a surface. Keep in mind that we are in 3D orbit mode right now. We can select this top button to return to pan. So now we can see this first sloped foundation a little more clear. We are going to isolate the object so we can work with it a little easier. Choose the I button at the bottom of the page. If you haven't explored the I button, I urge you to do so as there is a lot of customization in here. Choose Isolate. What I love about Icon is that when you get lost, this top right corner is a lot like your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, heck, it can be your mama or your daddy. They're always up there telling you exactly what to do. Here, they're doing exactly that. Select an object for isolation. So we're going to come over to our model and we're going to choose the slope foundation that we want to turn into our surface. Now, keep in mind that there are multiple objects on top of one another here and the system doesn't know exactly which one we're trying to choose. So it will zoom as far as it can go and then it will give us a list of the closest elements. In this example, the first line is the one we want. We will return to the main screen. The object is now highlighted. We will click the green check at the bottom of the screen and voila. 
Now here's where things can get a little tricky. We need points to create a surface, but there are no points right now, and Icon doesn't yet have a snap to point on an object, but we do have a great workaround. Select your object. Make sure that it is highlighted. Normally it highlights purple as it is on the screen now. You'll see some phantom points. Keep in mind that these are not permanent points. Make sure that you don't get confused. To make our permanent points, we are going to have to orbit this object around to get a better view. That should work just fine. Select your toolbox, then select Connect Points. Now select two of the phantom points on the top layer of the slab and hit the green check mark to the right of the screen. While you're now going to have a line between the two points, you will have two permanent points that you can use to build the surface. Keep in mind that you don't have to connect all of the points together. What you're actually doing is connecting the points just to turn them into permanent points. Once you have permanent points for the entire object, you can do a couple of things here. You can now go into your sketching app and get rid of the lines, keeping just the points, or we can turn off the IFC file in the layer manager so we can just see the points and lines. Let's do that. Now let's create the surface. Click on the home screen. Now volumes, which is where we go to create the surface. Select the toolbox at the bottom of the screen, then select new surface. For this surface, we are going to use all of our points. You can either choose all of the points individually, or you can choose the window selection tool at the bottom right hand corner of the screen window in all of the points and hit the green check mark. You will see that all of the points have been selected by the gray check marks next to the points. Hit the green check mark again. Here, the screen will now prompt you to save the .trm, which is the native file for a Leica surface. We'll keep the default name and select the green check mark to save. We've now created a surface from the model. If for some reason your shading is not right or your contours are not visible, you can always return to the eye screen at the bottom page, choose viewing options, surfaces, and turn on your surface triangles or your surface shading. You can also go to your elevation map, turn on your elevation shading, and change your height interval. Mine is set to 0.25 of a foot. This is what gives me the colorization on my screen. With this surface, the field engineer can now go to the project and use this surface for cut and fill real time, etc. We can turn the IFC file back on to see the surface sitting on top of the object. We appreciate your time. Transit and Level Clinic supports the vertical building industry nationwide, and we deal with some of the largest general contractors in the country. If we can help you become more productive, please give us a call or visit us on the web at www.transitandlevel.com.